Well, after all this time, it shouldn't surprise me, but it still does, that there are some things that I have to just explain. I, it makes me like doing art kind of stuff so much more. You know, where I, where you never really have to explain. You can show someone something and they can interpret it a number of ways. But things that you would hope are obvious, you know, it's, it's just the, it's this... You know, with, with art, you can get people to think without being preachy too badly. I mean, you can still get kind of preachy with it, but it's not nearly the same thing as someone, you know, sitting there preaching to you about something. So, um... Oh, that sounds just preachy. The reason why I was calling that 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 little break at the end, and then that's exactly the order they went in. That's why I just said this is a break, not breaks, but break, because it's just one and there's the end, right? Eh. Um, eh. But that part, like first they show they they have. Um, a commercial for, you know, oh, look at all these great fights, these great, all this war, uh, look at the, you know, look at the precision of the destruction and all of that, right? And then you have a couple commercials and then it's, you know, sign off and let's put a jet fighter up on the screen the whole time. Freedom. Liberty. Jet fighter. Liberty, freedom, jet fighter. Justice for all, jet fighter. A jet fighter is not a symbol of freedom. It is a symbol of oppression. It is a symbol of destruction. It is a symbol of, I don't know, colonialism. It's a symbol of, uh, uh, you know, governmental expansion. It's a symbol of, you know, people who are, who sign up to be in the military, their oppression, because they're essentially signing up to be oppressed and used, like a pawn. And it's amazing that people are willing to do that. I, I will, you know, give them that. That is an amazing thing to give up. Uh, to do that. But then you're at the whim of whatever the government wants you to do. And if it's planned uh, well enough, uh, the people who are in the military won't think too much about or care that much about what the full plan might actually be. You know, because they've, they've signed up to be a pawn. It's the ultimate in trusting your government. The ultimate. And, you know, my, my hat's off to the people who are willing to do something like that in hopes that they will be doing something good for the country. But either way, symbols that have to do with that, um, that's not a symbol of freedom. It's just not. It just I. I it's, that's a symbol of oppression. And there's the other element to it too, where they, they it's talked about with the brave. You know, let's let's associate this song with a jet fighter, right? And think about the ramifications of 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 this sort of thing, where it's considered more brave to bomb an area that has no way of fighting against it, 
You know, they don't have those kind of jets or any of that. They don't, I mean, they could try, feebly try to point some sort of a, a, a big, larger weapon and amazingly hit it, you know, from down below. If they're prepared for it already. But, you know, but th that doing that is, oh, that's so brave. Well, I mean, if we're, we're talking about you know, the, this, you know, against all odds, you know, that kind of thing, you know, he, he went above and beyond the, the, the call of duty to, uh, and it's just like, yeah, to bomb a bunch of people. That's so brave. That's just, wow, just incredibly brave. Sorry, sorry, I, I don't take a different, you know, approach to that sort of thing. And I'm sorry for how many people I might be offending with that. Again, I, I think it's amazing what people are willing to give up in the hopes that what they do will be uh, good for the world and good for the country. It's, it's uh, again, hats off to the people who, who have been willing to do that, you know. If, if, we, if we have a government that is just, then you will be doing good things for the world. So. I've sometimes wondered whether or not Top Gun might... I, I, should, have, I should have looked this up. I should have looked this up, but... Um, whether Top Gun might have had some sort of funding in some area by the government, you know, the, the movie Top Gun, and if it did, um, that would make the movie a giant commercial for the uh, for the U.S. military. Um, I also remember um, them kind of taking advantage of the release of that movie, and there were. Um, you found, you know, military kind of uh, uh, the recruiters hanging around outside schools to talk to people. You know, I'm not saying that that it is some big conspiracy. But, you know, if, if if the government sees some movie gets released, right, that could make people excited about the military, joining the military. Then they're gonna. I mean, why not jump on that on that occasion to, uh, uh, hey, you know, we might be able to get more people in because of this movie. It's not. It's not necessarily saying, oh, we uh, we helped make this whole thing happen, and it's some giant, you know, plan or something. I, some people could could puff it out into something like that. I don't want to puff it out into something like that. But it is something I've wondered about. But that's not the same thing as actually thinking that is what has occurred. So. Um, I guess I don't know what more to say, but, uh, uh, bananas and...